comparison of thermal imaging camera so from FLIR system which is the FLIR i3 worth 60,000 versus from HDI model HD02 worth 10,000 which is much better for electrical inspection. Let's see. Let's begin this comparison. So I have here Plier i3 worth 60,000 pesos and an HD02 worth more or less 10,000 pesos thermal imaging camera. This Plier i3 as you can see is already noticeable use which I always use in my inspection work. And for this HT02 thermal imaging camera a newly bought in online market physical features for both looks nice and compact so for FLIR i3 we have here memory card slot a charging power connection and a USB connection type B for transferring thermal images. While here in HD02, have a micro SD card slot only. I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 function button for FLIR. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 function button for HDI. Then at the front, FLIR i3 have cover protections for thermal camera lens while HDI doesn't have. This cover is good since it is expensive device and costly for repair once damaged. For FLIR, it only have thermal camera while HDI have thermal camera, visual light camera, and LED light which can be used while doing inspection and testing. And both have a button in front for capturing which make the device ergonomic to handle. Both have wrist strap which is good if working inspection around the plant. And in terms of handling, it is more comfortable and ergonomic to use this HDI because it's light and slim handle grip compared to FLIR. But this may vary depending on your hand size. But for me, it suit to my hand this HDR thermal camera. Maybe because of this bump in FLIR that make I'm comfortable in my handling. Okay, let's turn on this boat thermal camera. HDI turned on in a few loading while FLIR is still loading. But once this FLIR already turned on, then decided to, to turn off again. It will only load in a few seconds while HDI will still have the same loading time. I forgot to mention that HDI is not rechargeable but a removable AA battery while FLIR is rechargeable but not removable battery. Going through the device menu, in FLIR i3, we have color palette selection between gray, iron bow, and rainbow which you can decide based on your preference. 
second. Measurement object where preset emissivity value can be found and used depending on the service type, which this feature is much likely advantage for the beginner which not familiar with emissivity. And if you are more advanced, you can use the advanced setting under this tab which you can manually adjust the emissivity. Select material which have corresponding emissivity values and adjust for the reflective temperature for the calibrated measurement. And for the setting tab, it have the function for restored default setting, firmware, timestamp, set time, time format, unit, language selection, display intensity, and auto shutdown setting. And to review the captured thermal image, it have this button which symbol like a play button. Once click, it display the thermal images captured. To power off the device, by pressing the power button in a little seconds, then it will turn it off. Then, let's go to HT02. Power and menu is in the same button. To open the device, you need to hold for 5 seconds to open the thermal camera. For going to the menu, once the device is started, just press one click. Under the menu, nothing much can be found compared to FLIR i3. It have a temperature unit, storage capacity display, color palette selection, between high, con high contrast, black glow, white glow, iron red, and rainbow. Emissivity, emissivity setting which only manually adjusted, no preset emissivity value, marking spot temperature, ambient temperature, or the background temperature, which is nice feature to this device, a automatic reading for the ambient temperature, which is no need to adjust manually this part once doing the testing. Other menu setting is the time setting, save images, and background light setting. In the screen display, you can see in both thermal camera the minimum and maximum temperature, the time and date there, time here, spot temperature, battery life display, emissivity use. Color palette use. Let's go now to the thermal image output of each thermal imager. To access the thermal image in computer, for FLIR i3, you need a type A to mini B USB cable which make easy for importing thermal image for the report while HT02 need a miscellaneous device the card reader 
thermal image generated in FLIR i3, visual photo is taken in a separate camera. So this is disadvantage of this unit because of not capable of capturing visual image especially if you need to provide a report like this while in HT02 it is capable of capturing thermal image at the same time a visual image which this feature is most mostly found in expensive mid-range to flagship thermal image camera also I got to my attention the applicability or the capability of image mixing which make easy to interpret thermal image which player i3 doesn't have comparing these two i have here the thermoelectric cooler module or the tec to test in testing distance of 400 mm with the same emissivity setting in the FLIR i3 thermal image is much more refined which you can see in which you can see the structures of the subject under test while in HD02 we cannot classify or identify the object we can only just say that there is a cold and hot side surface also you may notice that even it is in the same testing distance from the thermal camera output image of FLIR i3 is much more close compared to HD02 making a testing distance of 300 mm and the result is look like this few surface captured in FLIR i3 as has been presented or show in the thermal image output by the way thermal image of FLIR i3 is squarish while HD02 is a rectangular one so you can also notice it on the image to answer the question for which is much better for electrical inspection, I will go for FLIR i3 if the inspection is for formal assessment and evaluations of the electrical equipment or used in preventive maintenance record and other inspection that will provide and involve a written document or report because of its thermal image clarity and a flexible setting parameter that give a more accurate testing result. And that's it. I hope it helped you in your project. To further discover engineering life, please like and subscribe to our channel to give you an updates as we electrify our world.